Hi, uh, my name is Louie and I'm with Premier RV and today we're going to talk about a 2008 42 foot Country Coach Magna. And as we always tell you at the beginning of the videos, we're always looking for new inventory that has been well maintained and taken care of in our showroom. Um, but we're going to get this thing outside and uh, the lighting's a lot better and talk a little bit more about the 2008 with the legend Damon Raposo. Well, we got the 2008 42 footer outside, as you saw, with the maneuverability of this coach with the 55 degree wheel cut, it turns very sharp. What'd you think about that, Damon? It turned really sharp. I loved it. Beautiful coach. The sun really accents the colors, the uh, modern look. Beautiful coach, Louis. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. What do you think makes the Magna so timeless in the sense of its overall appearance? Because oh, I get that question a lot from people. They were just way ahead of their time. The, the front cap, rear cap, the whole look of the motorhome, roof mounted awnings, flush slides, just still a beautiful looking coach today and a modern looking coach. So you're, you're kind of referring to the front cap instead of being straight up and down. It's got this nice curve. I think they used to say it was like, what, a 7% or whatever it was? Rake. Rake. Okay. Yeah, rake. But uh, I think that whole appearance of it having this aerodynamic look and flush slides and the roof mounted awnings and their paint schemes, um, they're just kind of timeless, I think. The solar reflective mirrors also for privacy and just that look, just but beautiful. We'll start with one of the many features today, uh, the large door. The entry door is huge on these coach. And with that, you get the quickie double step, the heavy duty steps. You can carry two bags of groceries in and one in each hand. Don't have to turn sideways. Level 10. <laughs> we talked a little bit about the front, 55 degree wheel cut. In 2008, they went to disc brakes on all wheels. Uh, so this is a 52,000 GVW coach, 18, 20, and 14 on the tag axle. So again, Country Coach is always really going to engineer uh, for safety. And uh, that's why they went with these heavier duty front ends. Uh, it's gonna have a dual fill, so you can fill from the other side. It's 150 gallons. This is just an access panel to get to the fuel tank. Uh, you're gonna have two pass-through bays on this coach. My assistant here. And like always, they have the double strut doors here. So they go up higher when you want them to, but you gotta push them up. But you can see the two pass-through bays for a 42-footer. And then over here you have your six house batteries on a slide tray. There's a chassis disconnect on the left side of that bay, which are for the chassis batteries that are right back here, also on a slide tray. Six house batteries, that's quite a bit, don't you think? It is, and especially since they're 8D models, which people don't realize they're the size of three typical batteries. So yeah, there's a lot of battery power, a lot of 12 volt available in a Magna. Nice electric bay door handles, painted to match. Insulated doors. Fiberglass doors, we've talked about that a couple of times. Instead of aluminum, the fiberglass is gonna dissipate the heat quite a bit. And uh, if you ever have any type of scratches or um, little small accidents or whatever you could actually patch this up prime it and then repaint it and 
you're all good instead of replacing the skin on the door itself. Absolutely. One thing that doesn't get talked about enough are these slide outs and how they're above the floor. There's a lot of coaches where their slides go down and you got these tiny little bays you got to get on your knees to get into. And Country Coach did a great job with HWH hydraulic slides to keep it out of the bays, above the floor, so you have full height bay doors on both sides. So most doors, that's a great point because we used to kind of talk about that quite a bit, is like if it had a side hinge door, you would still be below here. Or on this, with this double strut, you could lift it up higher and your access point is much better. Absolutely. So, actually, me and Damon were one of the ones that actually, they were thinking about going to uh, side hinge doors on this side, but we were kind of against it at the time, so. Yeah. Gerard window awnings, and then of course up on the top is the carefree awning. Did you remember the door awning, Louis? I do remember the door awning. So that's a manual door awning. You've got to get the little crank out and then you can slide it forward to cover the whole door and that's why they didn't go with electric. Great point there, Raposo. You're welcome. What's your thoughts on this? Well, I love it. Well, I mean, don't people always ask, why isn't it like that wheel? Yes, the dish of the wheel. Why isn't it a dish? Why is it backwards, I'll hear from the truck drivers. Well, just like a Prevo, though. Just like a Prevo. And it's you pick up 1,000 pounds of carrying capacity by having the dish no, offset. 4,000 pounds. 4,000. Okay, you we're going to have to Google that one. You go from 10 to 14. No Google necessary. Oh. Yeah, 4,000 pounds. <laughs> Are we going to do lunch on that? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. All right. He's buying. <laughs> Future episode, we'll dis disclose who won. Uh, air filter for the engine. And a little service center here, a little oil there if the engine ever needs it. It's got a pump. Just hit that switch right there. Check the dipstick and see if you need any more oil. Kind of something you're going to see on all the magnets and affinities on country coaches on the Allures and intrigues are typically gravity fed in the back. Gravity, yep. Yeah. And then Country Coach did the electric pump. For 200000 more dollars, you get that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Access to the engine. This has got one of the best engines I've ever seen in a motorhome, the ISX 600. It is a 2006. This is one of those rare 2008 Magna or Affinities that was built with an 06 engine, so there is no DPF emission system on this particular coach. Uh, and no DEF. And no DEF. Well, that's because Country never did DEF, did they? It is. That's an easy <laughs> one to remember. 15,000 pound hitch. Uh, you'll notice everything in here is going to be oversized. Uh, coolant is outstanding. These things run at about 185 to 195 at the most. Uh, but here's your hydraulic reservoir right here. Um, all the hoses and everything are huge, so your coolant is outstanding on all these coaches, especially on the 600s. Yeah, just a workhorse. Low RPMs, quiet, and it just hauls. The optional famous ladder here for access to the roof. I think Jack and I will climb up later and do some roof shots because we got some solar panels on this coach. We're up on the roof of this 08 42 foot Magna and it has a wine guard in motion road trip set up for dish network with two receivers, a wine guard connect uh, antenna, three roof airs with heat pumps, and four solar panels. So this was an option Country Coach offered uh, that was four 100 watt solar panels. I see we got a roof mounted awning. This caulking all looks like it's relatively new. It's a one piece fiberglass roof that's molded. It's very solid. There's no soft spots anywhere on it. Looks really clean and nice. Shore cords here, it's electric. There's also a little uh, key fob in there that is power the shore cord so you can kind of walk the dog, you might say. Yeah, that's a good one. Walk the shore cord dog. I'll open some of these 
panographic plumbing bay door up for you and So I really like the stainless here. So you got your dump valves. Um, you could uh, clean out your gray and black tanks, your water hose reel, water filters back here. I mean water, um, yeah, the filter and the water pump. And you got the outside shower, little uh, soap dispenser, fresh water fill here. So. Really nice, clean environment. Yeah, that's laid out really nice and clean with the stainless steel. This has the uh, larger 600 Aqua Hot, which I think you guys started using in 07. Yeah, yeah, that was one of the major changes in 07 on the Magnus, is to go to the bigger Aqua Hot, which has two heating elements for the electric hot water heater. It also went to the different slide mechanism on this side of the coach where you don't yeah. have the ram arms outside and the little desk behind the driver's seat and the little um, rack system to bring the slides in and out. This mechanism is completely inside the coach. Very nice, clean look. Would you say it has no buck teeth? No buck teeth. Okay. I haven't heard that one. What do you think about these doors, huh? They are just brutal. They are such a stout door and strong thick fiberglass again insulated i like them and what do you think about the 42 footers you don't see them as much as like 45 so no pretty these, rare model yeah it's kind of like the 40s almost where a lot of people have that in the back of their head that they don't want to go 45 they want 42 so yeah if you don't want to go to 45 but you still want a little more room than a 40, this is it. It's a great floor plan called the Van Gogh. And the paint's in actually really good shape. It is. I don't really see any checking, I don't know about you, but. Um, and it's custom colors. Oh, this is custom colors also, yeah. This is one of the few coaches that has propane, so it's got a gas cooktop for the people that like to cook on gas. Everything else is electric. And so, Damon, what is this 630 thing all about? We kind of joked about this over the years. It's not horsepower. And it's not it's 63 a, feet long either. No. 42. I would say it's a marketing blunder. Oh, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um, it was going to be uh, kind of like BMWs, the 300 series, 400 series, the 630 series Magnus. So... There was something interesting going on in marketing. We'll leave it at that. Okay. So it's just a confusion thing. It's just a Magna. 630 means nothing. Got to have a little fun here because that's a question that we've gotten so many All the time. times over the years. And it's, yeah. it wasn't the best idea probably in the world. Uh, no. And to pull out the generator, you just pull this. In here is your pump for your slide rooms, your leveling systems, auxiliary air compressor, and uh, you're gonna have a lot of uh, automotive fuses in here also. No rust, huh? No Coach rust. Is pretty clean, huh? So what's that, the 12.5 Onan, I bet? It is. So that'll run all three roof airs. It's got 1,597 hours on the generator. All right, well, I think that concludes the outside of the coach. What do you think? Can you add anything else? No, I think we've circled it and covered everything important. So looking forward to going inside.
we made it back inside and probably noticed how fast the slide rooms went in and out. Um, I think that's kind of cool with the hydraulic slides. Uh, they carry a lot of weight and they also don't hurt your finger when you have to hold down on it for like 10 minutes for the slides to go in and out. What do you think about that, Damon? Yes, the HWH slides are very fast. Uh, you want to have a window open and make sure there's nothing in the way. Yeah. So you want to talk a little bit about the floor plan? Uh, we have an optional computer desk here. Um, one of the other things, it was a choice on the window size. On this coach, we have the shades down just for the video, but you got a nice large big window here, which a lot of people like. Yeah, it feels like you're sitting outside when you're in that recliner. And th these recliners are very custom. These are very expensive ones. Uh, it doesn't have an ottoman, but it's got a little thing here. Yep. Built-in ottoman. Yep. So very comfortable, built-in ottoman. Some kind of European thing, I think. Um, the booth dinette with the little curve here is nice. Cabinets are going to be light cherry. Uh, all the shades are electric. Um, we got a J sofa over here. Storage maybe, underneath, storage under the booth. Maybe talk a little bit about the Intellitech lights. The multiplex, all the uh, started in 07 in the Magnafinity. All the light switches are labeled and backlit, change colors when they're on. Don't have to run around looking for where the switches are hid. It's also nice, all tile, heated floors. Heated floors, yeah, heated tile floor. And uh, they did something a little different here, which I kind of like, Louie. The indoor-outdoor basket weave flooring in the slide room and in the bedroom. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I think uh, whoever is interested in buying this coach, small things like that are easy to change out if you don't like it. But yeah, I think it's very durable. Yeah, it's flexible. It's easy to clean. Yeah. So it just depends on the person that's purchasing it. But sure. All the things that we're capable of doing. That TV yeah. is also kind of unique. I've it never is. seen this in a motorhome, but this is a curved. I've got one of these at home, uh, but it's a curved TV. Yeah. The cabinet yeah. work and and finish of that is beautiful, whoever did it. Yeah. Um, Samsung, so good brand there. Nice size kitchen. Uh, the cooktop is gonna be propane. So that's a choice. So you could go all electric, which would be Electric cooktop or a propane cooktop would be the standard cooktop back then. Uh, all these covers right here go into these little holes down here. So as you can see, everything fits very nicely. That's something Country Coaches is well known for. The tile is not prefabbed and slapped up here. It's actually installed individual tiles, just like you would have in a house. Kind of the differences between a country coach and some of the other brands in this time frame is that countries took twice as long to build um, from a production standpoint. Definitely. I just had a customer talking to me about that yesterday who did the uh, all the different plant tours and he bought that uh, intrigue yesterday. Yeah. And he said that at Country Coach, the Magna and Affinity, it was a minimum of 74 days start to finish if no one called in sick. And if someone called in sick, it could take a little longer. Where uh, at Monaco, it was ten days. Just the wow, difference, ten. yeah. And uh, well, back when I did the tour, I used to tell people sixty. So maybe someone prolonged that to um, another two weeks. Might but, have been uh, some overtime in there. A little overtime, yeah. but um, yeah, sixty working days versus I think Monaco. Wow, that's ten days. That's ten crazy. Days. Yeah, um, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so that's where you get into the fit and finish and the craftsmanship and how everything is really tight on um just a lot more man hours yeah oh, oh definitely and they wouldn't have like countries you'd have a magnet affinity in that plant which we're in where a lot of the other brands you would have their entry level gas coaches with their higher end coaches that's so. what he said it was just a mosh pit and there was all kinds of yeah gas coaches la palma's signatures and and uh i think yeah. you're the one that came up with this thing what's this called 
This is the uh, optional wine, I think. They, this is oh, the you used to call it the coma cabinet, and then well, everyone this, else started saying. But this has oh. the horizontal. This oh. is a little different. So what yeah, are you thinking? Yeah, this is just straight is out wine? wine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So kind of uh, something Country Coach is, is known for. These folks went with wine instead of what they normally had is the drink set, other known as the... Coma cabinet. Coma cabinet. Yes. All righty. A uh, little pantry over here. Nice pantry. Floor to ceiling. And again, if you didn't like the custom glass here, we could do a race panel door or whatever you want. But um, mm -hmm. countries were pretty well known for the stained glass being an option. Um, pretty cool. There's a local company that did that for Country Coach back in the day. And then isn't the 42 foot the only one that you did the Lazy Susan, that kind of neat corner cabinet? It is. So even more little handy dandy storage here. And these actually pull out. So would the dog come with this one, Damon, or? If the price is right, we will include Fido. Or maybe that might be spot. I saw on the test drive the price went off, so we're slashing prices now. Slashing prices. <laughs> <laughs> Round shower enclosure, which you're going to find on all Magnas and Affinities, Sasana. Um, very high end, nice shower. Pewter hardware. Pewter, not gold. Yeah. And uh, corn side walls there, and real ceramic tile. That uh, skylight cover is custom, Louis. It does look like that. I haven't seen that before. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Instead of the big foam pad. Yeah. A little storage here. And again, on all country coaches in the medicine cabinet is going to be all the serial numbers of all the items inside the coach. They also weighed every single motorhome, so they'll have the VIN number, the coach number, and then what the actual coach weighed. And then in the owner's packet, they tell you what each axle weighed and stuff like that. So country, again, was very uh, engineer-based in the sense of they wanted to go after safety, function, design. That was kind of the three things that, and safety was number one. So, pretty cool. Pretty overbuilt coaches also. Very overbuilt. And that's a great resource. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some good storage here. Lots of drawers. And then you could close off each section of this. So, the bedroom, you have two pocket doors here that close off. There's one for the water closet and then one for the kitchen also. Yep. In our previous... Uh, video on a magna we talked about the ceiling lights that we had the new led lights that are, yes um, yeah those are nice uh instead of the halogen light although these are leds but uh, those new lights provide a lot more lighting which brightens it up a lot yeah so pretty cool um back here you're going to have the washer dryer the combo a little bit of storage here and then you get the big full wardrobe here. I've always liked how country went finally to these wood doors. For many years that was an option, but just kind of finishes off the back of the coach. Yeah. Bedroom uh, TV looks like it's been updated. It's got a Samsung. Yeah, it looks like a smart TV. The other thing that they started doing is they separated the front audio video with the bedroom so you don't have any switch boxes or anything like that you're going to have a dvd player and your receiver here and then a satellite or um looks like they have a newer blu-ray player in there too yeah dish network so it's all set to go with the satellite system all right so that concludes the 2008 42 foot country coach magna uh we're asking 234.999 and what's unique about this coach, again, is it's an 08 with an 06 ISX Cummins 600 horse engine. So Sounds no like you're a pretty DPF. big fan of that one. I am. They didn't build many of them that you guys pre-bought some engines, which was really smart, and it carried over into the early 08s. Yeah. So if you have any more questions about this 2008 42-foot Magna or anything in inventory, please get a hold of Louie or myself. and We'd be happy to, to discuss this coach with you. And we're always looking for great consignments. And again, please remember to hit that like button. 
subscribe button. Subscribe button. Hit them both. It's actually free. So. Oh, it is. Yeah, you oh, didn't know that. It's free. Have you subscribed? I have. Well, you can too. Thank you, and uh, we're gonna keep trying to do these videos. And if you have any comments or. Sometimes it's hard to read all the comments and answer them, so if you just call us at the 541-998-2640. Thanks again. Thank you.